Today we're going to be making the easiest chocolate cake ever. You don't need any eggs, you don't even need an oven. It only takes five minutes to make in the microwave and it's so moist and so delicious. So let's begin. We're gonna add our plain flour, our granulated sugar, our cocoa powder and our baking powder to a large bowl and then we're just gonna whisk until combined. Now we're fully mixed, we're gonna add melted butter and warm water. So in goes the butter. You could also swap the butter for a neutral taste in oil to make the sponge completely dairy free. And now the warm water. Now we're gonna grab our whisk and we're gonna whisk this until it's smooth and nice and runny. Okay, so that is looking good. Now it's ready to go into our mold. Now you can use any microwave safe container. I'm using this seven inch silicone one that I got from Amazon. I've just sprayed it and lines the base with parchment paper. That looks so good. So now we're gonna cook it. The time that it takes to cook will depend on the size of your container and also the material of it as well. I'm gonna cook mine in the microwave, of course, on a medium heat, about 500 watts for five to six minutes until a toothpick comes out with a few moist crumbs on. Our cake is now baked, so we're gonna test it with our toothpick or skewer to make sure that it comes out clean or with a few moist crumbs on. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this. Usually I would take the plate do that and then flip, but this is too heavy. So I'm just gonna try my best just to flip it straight on. <laughs> Wish me luck. Ta-da! For the topping, we're gonna make a super easy, rich chocolate ganache. All you need is dark chocolate and hot double cream or heavy cream. So we're gonna pour our hot cream over our chocolate and then we're gonna let it stand for a few minutes. Now the chocolate has started to melt, so we're gonna stir it gently until it comes together and it's nice and smooth. Our chocolate ganache is ready. If you didn't want to make a chocolate ganache, you could always make a chocolate buttercream frosting or like a simple chocolate glaze, or you can even just spread Nutella over your cake. Whatever you fancy, I just like a chocolate ganache because it makes it extra chocolatey and it also looks really fancy. Now I'm just gonna pour the ganache over the cake. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And then I'm just gonna smooth it out and let it drip down the edges slightly. <laughs> Now for the best part, the taste test. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's so moist and chocolatey and fudgy. It tastes like a really rich chocolate fudge cake. I've got chocolate around my mouth, haven't I? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you like super easy, fun recipes like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.